so, capturing the Among Us character in space has been almost a year long project. First of all, it's not action in space. As you can see in the footage, it was captured from just over 21,500 meters, which is a little over 70,000 feet. We got the character this high up using a high altitude balloon, otherwise known as a weather balloon. We used a 600 gram balloon, a 3 foot parachute for the descent, and a whole bunch of nylon cord. Suspended at the bottom was our payload. Inside, I put together a homemade video camera using a little camera module, wired to a microcomputer, soldered on a sensor, and wrote some code to collect and display sensor readings in the video. For the little Among Us character, I found a model on Thingiverse, 3D printed it, painted it, and mounted it on some popsicle sticks in front of the camera. Now, in order to get the footage, we have to find where it lands and grab the USB code. So to track its location, I put together a homemade radio transmitter. We also used a backup sent by a friend of ours. This is actually our third balloon launch, codenamed WB2.5. The first two launches had some problems. For WB1, we had some trouble just getting it into the air. And once it did go up, we never found it again. After this, I started to get a ham radio license so I could use a radio transmitter. WB2 started with a disappointment. We carefully planned the launch, drove for three hours, set up, and then had to abort due to a code error. This taught us how to use something called SSH to fix problems like this on location in the future. About a week later, we finally launched WB2. After an extensive recovery effort to fish it out of the forest, we discovered it recorded about 10 seconds of footage. The final launch was WB2.5 which was a refurbished and improved version of the same payload. This time we drove across state lines and found miles of open ferment so there would be no chance of landing in a forest. Of course, the balloon popped early and it fell straight into a forest. Here's a friend Mike trying to get it down with his potato cannon. It didn't work. Luckily, the next day, the landowner and a friend of his helped us retrieve it. After a couple of days, we got the payload, loaded up the footage, and saw this. Success. Now, it didn't go perfectly. Due to some kind of automatic white balancing, the footage ended up tinted completely red so we had to color correct it to look somewhat normal. All problems we hope to solve with our next launch, WB3. In the meantime, we will enjoy our victory in creating this epic moment and the hard work it took to get it. Now to answer the question I know you've all been wondering, Orange was the imposter.